Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Zane, and today we're having a look at Arrival. Arrival nears van and buses production launch. The EV startup is getting ready for UK and US assembly, just as the competition arrives on the scene. Less than a month ago, Arrival achieved certification for its planned electric buses in the UK, with the electric van model not far behind. Now, the startup plans to produce its EV in the UK and in the USA with stateside production started slate for the fourth quarter of 2022 this year. Arrival also plans to introduce an EV for ride hailing drivers with plan to begin production in 2023. That would be the ride hailing vehicle, a car that Arrival designed with a partnership with Uber in mind. Now, Arrival has unveiled this week it plans its planned bus models as achieved certification in the European Union and is conducting trials and close courses ahead of testing on public roads. Scheduled to be the first to see a commercial launch, the model is now in trial production stage, with arrival expecting customer models to materialize in the second half of the year. Arrival has also said that its van model is over 70% of the way through its certification process and is expected to enter production in the third quarter of this year. Arrival, which has already picked Charlotte, North Carolina for its United States headquarters and local production facilities, expects to begin assembling its van model in Charlotte by the fourth quarter of this year after production starts in the UK in the third quarter. Arrival has also installed all the robotic tech required for assembly in the United Kingdom with plans to begin outfitting its Charlotte plant in late summer. And we've got a quote from Dennis, Arrival founder and CEO, our ambition is to create better electric vehicles people love to use and our vision is to become a reality within the arrival zero emission bus being our first production to achieve certification. Now a critical milestone for our buses is to be driven on public roads with passengers, end quote. Now as it gets ready for the start of production in the UK and in the United States, arrival is still spending lots of cash, but it posted a loss of 10.4 million this quarter compared to 1.1 billion in the first quarter of 2021. The startup will expect to lose around 185 million to 250 million this year amid capital expansion, amid capital expenditures of up to 420 million if it all goes well and production of two models start on schedule. Now additionally, Arrival faces the problem of having revealed concepts back when no competition were producing similar vehicles. And they're now approaching production in a marketably difficult world. When some competition in relevant segments have already come to market, battery electric buses have been in production for some time. While the electric delivery van segment has now seen several players in recent months, including GM's Bright Drop and Ford e-tron sits. Now with that being said, me personally, I do think that there is enough market. Me personally, I do think there is more than enough available customers in the EV market for Arrival to survive and do brilliantly. It's quite simplistic, to be quite honest. The market right now is clearly in need of a lot more electric vehicles, buses, vans, and ride hailing vehicles. There is an extreme high demand for electric vehicles, and I don't think that's gonna go away anytime soon. So while there's plenty more competition in the EV market right now, I still believe that Arrival still has a great chance of not just succeeding, but excelling beyond expectation. Now, in the case of Arrival Van, it's probably Bright Drop that the startup has to worry about in the short term. Though Arrival certainly has its own hold of orders to rely on, including 10,000 vehicles ordered by UPS. Now, there is no other Arrival models we haven't mentioned yet, and it's arguably one that will be the most interesting to provide EV buyers. The Arrival car, which is planned to be a purpose-built model for ride hailing drivers, Slated to enter production in 2023, the electric hatch looks like it could be an interesting buyer. This is an electric car that is an hatchback, and it looks like it's definitely going to be of high interest to a lot of buyers other than ride hailing drivers if they were to be offered for sale. Now, as a tall hatchback, it might actually see the most interest from private buyers, as there are no other crossovers of this particularly body size, as there's not many other crossovers of this particular body style on the market at the moment. 
So truth to be told, a rival sits in a very unique position and that's ultimately a brilliant thing. We have to give them a round of applause for that. Arrival executives say that the electric bus and van manufacturer is on pace to hit the 2022 target of producing 400 to 600 vans and continue to think the company price point will, despite inflation, sit comfortably below those of the most EV pairs. Arrival team expects to start production of its van at its Bethesda England factory in, in the third quarter of 2022. This is brilliant. So it does seem like we are on schedule to be producing vehicles before the end of this year for Arrival. And that's a brilliant thing. Additionally, Arrival finished March with about non-binding letters of intent and orders for 143,000 vehicles, up from 134,000 at the end of 2022. So their order books are constantly growing. It's growing so much that they cannot keep up with this high demand. So the money is there to be made. It's just a matter of production. It's a matter of uh, facilities. It's a matter of material and supply. Do Arrival have enough money and do they have enough supply to build these vehicles at high capacity? And the good thing is that we're going to see this before the end of this year. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more and I will see you in my next video.